Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in a packed presentation this week, like ring announcer Jimmy Lennon's pay-per-view boxing's famous words, it's showtime in the Royal Opera Breeders Stakes and Trophy at the Garrison Savannah in Barbados. At Jamaica's Caymanus Park, Guyanese owned cold, easy as ABC wins the Luchipu Trophy in the hands of a 56-year-old rider. A $100,000 stakes win at Belterra Park in Ohio for Barbadian jock Rocco the Jocko Bowen. Added money wins two in Canada for multiple Barbados champion jockey Rashid Hughes at Century Mile. His first in the land of the Maple Leaf and TNT's Larry Cicharan at Hastings Racecourse. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean success on the North American continent, or opening story from Barbados. Where eight runners contested the Royal Opera Breeders Stakes and Trophy at the Garrison Savannah, this Midsummer Classic prep event, missing the Guinness winner Mercedes, sidelined with an injury, leaving the seven-horse luscious here with trainer Eddie Walcott as a favorite for the night racing feature. There's the field for the U.S. $12,500 9 furlong run. Number one, Mushara by two-time Sandlane Gold Cup winner Dorset out of the Iron Lady. Third in the Guinness, a two-to-one second favorite here. Heroes Day is in the two box, lost his rider in the Guinness. A strong five-to-two bet. Papillon in the three boxes at six to one. Three to two the odds on the favorite Luscious, winless from four starts, but has never been off the board. And number eight, Showtime, is at eight to one, boasting three wins from eight lifetime starts. Showtime had led the field for a long way in the Guinness before fading to fifth. The filly is on the front end here again. Will she last the trip this time? Dean Springer in the combox picks them up mid-race. Mashar is next on the inside, then two shades of blue. Then there's Papillon on the outside, a break of a length and a half to Mo Farah and Brunei racing as a team. Luscious has one beaten at this point, and that's Makosa Princess. The half mile completed in 51 as they're around the far turn ahead of the hill. And Showtime still continues to lead by a length and a half. On the inside racing, Dak and this Heroes Day, then there's Papillon, Moshara next one through, Brunei, Luscious has begun to run, and Makosa Princess has had one beaten at this point, and that is Mofara inside the quarter pole they come, and Heroes Day comes to ask a question of Showtime, I can see the white face of Moshara appearing three wide, Papillon is looking for a way through, and inside the final for long, it is Showtime, on the inside hanging tough, on the outside here is Moshara picking them up and putting them down, but Showtime is trying to hold on. Moshara with one last desperate search, but Showtime will not be denied. A few cracks of the whip left-handed keeps Showtime going to the wire, repelling the threats of the onrushing Moshara on the outside and Heroes Day taking the inside path. Career win number four in her ninth lifetime start, Showtime, bred owned and trained by Kenny Joseph and splendidly ridden by Delano Lopez, the 25-year-old son of Canada-based former Sand Lane Gold Cup winning rider Simon Husbands. Showtime in an 8-1 upset by a diminishing half-length over Moshara with Heroes Day a further two lengths back in third in a tune-up for the July 13 Midsummer Classic when the top three-year-old Mercedes may return. The winning time for the Breeders' Stakes and Trophy 9 for a long run, the midsummer trip, 1 minute, 55.80 seconds. Now to Jamaica, where Saturday's nine-race card at Caymanus Park was highlighted by the Luchi Poo Trophy, honoring the 1988 Horse of the Year and Hall of Famer. Eight runners faced the starter over a mile. The three-horse Digital won the favorite with a combination of the leading jockey and the number one trainer, Tevin Foster up for Jason Da Costa, tracking here in second as the three-to-one bet Neo Star set the fractions under title-chasing jockey Radish Roman and watched in the com box by Brian Rickman. The battle up front continues. Neo Star and Digital One now matching strides as they swing into that half mile turn. Stomp the rhythm gets closer, only five lengths in behind. Sister and Treasure now asked to go. The head cornerstone and easy as ABC now begin to make their moves. A gap opens to John Krajeff. Forget positive ID needing a miracle as they have left the three and run toward the final five sixteenth of a mile. Neo Star out in front and brave on that lead. The field now beginning to close in as they're coming toward the top of the lane and the Neo Star brings them into it. Stomp the rhythm, scraping paint on the rail. The digital one and easy as ABC now toward the center and now easy as ABC lengthens strides and easy as ABC grabs the lead. Neo Star will try to fight back. Stomp the rhythm now, Astor 
run on, on the rail. Digital One needs to do a lot more, but it's easy as ABC. Inside the final 16th, living up to the name, this is easy as ABC. Easy as ABC. Shipped to Jamaica last year after scoring two wins at Florida's Gulfstream Park. Easy as ABC, completing back-to-back -back wins on the veteran jockey Roderick Da Costa. Based in Canada for most of his riding career, the 56-year-old Da Costa has well over 200 wins riding at Fort Erie and Woodbine in Ontario, celebrating a confident win aboard Easy as ABC for trainer Donovan Hutchinson and Guyanese owner Jeremy Ratchpole. Easy as ABC landing the Lu Chi Pu trophy, topping the 15 to 1 bet, stomp the rhythm, and the favorite digital one, the winning margin of widening four and a half lengths, the time for a mile, 139.69 seconds. Now, the success of Barbadian jockeys in Canada has been well documented, but in the USA, it's been Rocco Boyn waving the flag best, a multiple champion jockey at racetracks like Emerald Downs and Portland Meadows, and he had a big one Saturday at Belterra Park in Ohio. Aboard the favorite spellcast in Friday's best of Ohio green carpet stakes on turf over eight and a half furlongs, Bowen third here in the red cap, stalking and about to make the bid for his first $100,000 stakes win this year. With the lead now on the outside, that is fact, not fiction. Leads now by a head, but on the outside, this time turns up the pressure. This time now goes by by a half a length. Also starting to work off the rail is Spellcast from the back of the back. Shadowy also moving out. That is Blue No More as they come spinning out of the turn. With a lead is this time, and this time gets a vigorous hand ride. This time leads by a half a length. On the outside, Spellcast trying to wheel in a leader. Also so Shadowy is on the move, but on the outside, Spellcast is coming over the top, and Spellcast just went right on by. Spellcast goes right on by, opens up a half a length. Spellcast at three to five wins the green carpet. Closing in on 1,300 wins in North America, the 35-year-old Rocco Boyan lands the green carpet stakes by three quarters of a length aboard the three to five favorite Spellcast for trainer Tim Ham, stopping the clock for eight and a half furlongs at 143.02. Boyan also had four wins this past week at Thistledown, including a Tuesday double. Let's head to Canada now, where the Barbadian jockey Rashid Hughes and TNT's Lyris Citaran posted upset $50,000 stakes wins out west. Multiple Barbados champion jockey Rashid Hughes back for a Canadian stint nine years after his first sojourn back in 2015, showing his class here aboard the longest shot in the field at 16 to 1. He's at the back of the field here aboard Classy City, but about to reel in the leaders in Friday's Western Canada Handicap Stakes at Centre Mile Racetrack in Edmonton. A compact field here past the 5 sixteenths. Now in later Gator, Mr. Phillip, Skipper's Pride, four wide, it's all good, man. They're five across with a quarter mile to go. Top of the lane, down the stretch, 45 and two. Classy City skims the inside. Now in later Gator, Mr. Phillip, Skipper's Pride, Classy City up the inside with a classy Rashid Hughes ride. Classy City up the rail and wins the Western Canada handicaps. Celebrating his first stakes win in Canada, Hughes, who had a double on the evening and also a win on Saturday, notches his first ever stakes win in Canada with a brilliant 16 to 1 shocker, topping fellow Barbadian jocks in the win. Classy City by two lengths in Friday's Western Canada stakes for trainer Craig Smith, chased by Kyle Carter aboard, Skipper's Pride, and Enrico Prescott with a 1 to 4 favorite, Mr. Philip. 110.61, the winning time for six furlongs. Further west now at Vancouver's Hastings Racecourse, Larry Cicheran, like Hughes, aboard a five horse while delivering a well-measured ride with the unfancied six-year-old gelding, Setecento, in Saturday's George Royal Stakes after saving ground initially with a rail run. They're midway on the final turn. Back in overdrive from the rail by a head. Stormy Blue, second by a leg. Set to Cento Sunbird. He needs a way through as they turn for home. It is back in overdrive with the lead. Stormy Blue, Set to Cento Sunbird. Still nowhere to run. Deep stretch. Here's Set to Cento over the top to win it. Trin Begonia and Citroen's first stakes win this, scoring for trainer Dave Milburn and the owners Hastings Horsepower and Motley Crew, connections with TNT Roots, and things went perfectly to plan for the 28-year-old rider with a Trini flag in his silks. This one in the safe some ground and trying to make one run at it in the end and worked out pretty well. 
Setechento, the third longest shot in the field at 19 to 1, scores in the George Royal by a half length of the Caribbean jocks, TNT's Karen Kellawan and Jamaican Christopher Mamdeen, second and third. The winning time for the six and a half furlong sprint, 115.91. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean men in the USA and Canada. Before we go, in the past week since our last show, I've counted a whopping 85 victories. Among them, the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. with seven wins at Florida's Gulfstream Park, including a Saturday triple. He also had a win Saturday at Churchill Downs, at Assiniboia Downs. Five wins each for the Barbadian jockey Rashad Knights and TNT's Pravin Badri. Karen Kellowan, the TNT rider, had three wins at Hastings and the Jamaican former champion jockey Trevor Simpson had a stakes win among three wins at Lethbridge. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.